Uh, Rams and Raiders. Um, look at here was Rams minus three, and we have seen a massive move towards the home favorite now touching seven. Rams off the bye. They've lost two straight to the Bears and Packers. Ironically, by almost identical score lines. What the F are the odds of that? 24-18 at Chicago, 24-19 against Green Bay, and they were a three-point dog in both games. You can play a million games. You won't get two results that close to each other as a, a same price. Uh, Raiders have gotten blown out in two straight. Um, big, big loss at Denver and even a bigger loss to the Steelers. So obviously they're licking their wounds. Looks like we saw the market react a little bit to the Devontae Adams trade. Fez, that makes no sense to me because there was no chance Devontae Adams was ever playing for the Raiders ever again, even if the Jets trade didn't happen this week. I'm just wondering, when was Cooper Cup officially put in? Was it more Cooper Cup news? That's got to be it, but I haven't heard anything official on Cooper Cup yet, just rumblings. rumblings. Oh, I think I think that's what, what it would do. You know, um, Chris has a handicap on, on this, so I'm going to let Chris go first, and I'm, I'm very much thinking of a live bet. Go ahead, Chris. Uh, I haven't seen Cup fully uh, marked in uh, regardless if he's in I, I don't f- see him going full throttle by any means I don't know why they wouldn't sit him out this game but uh this is an odd situation because the Rams have this good you know feel sorry for them they're busting their hump they're in every game type of perspective uh it, it, the, you know, stay, they've got Stafford, just get them some players that are healthy, you know, nobody's healthy and, and they're, they're almost working miracles and they're almost there. And you look at the Raiders and they just lost Devontae Adams, who hasn't played most of the season. Who cares? Uh, sure. The coach is an idiot, uh, but they're going to keep him. Uh, and maybe they're going to get rid of Crosby. Uh, you know, there's and, and then they lost somehow. They get blown out uh, in situations. Of, you know, Denver beat them. I mean, for God's sakes, you know, by margin. So big margin. It, uh, it, it, but when you put it all together, these teams are not as far apart as you think they are. Number one, at seven points. How can what have the Rams done this season to merit? laying a touchdown against anyone. I am telling you right now, the model has them so lowly rated as a team, all the stuff that you don't really see with your lying eyes. They are so lowly rated. There is no way in hell they deserve to be a seven-point favorite. They shouldn't be a four-point favorite. And, uh, you know, this will be the game where they win by 21 and they look like a fool. That's... (laughs) That's okay. I don't care. Okay. Over time, this is what tells you what's going to go on. These teams are a lot closer together than you realize, and they still are professionals. They get paid. They have families to support. They don't generally lay down, and the Raiders have not been looking good. They're due to sit there and show a little spine here. So I'm on the Raiders plus seven. I'm aboard. Amen. Live bet plus seven on the Raiders. And you know what? The Raiders are going to have the crowd. It's going to be 55% too. Raiders fan. So that. I'm aboard. Yes. Yeah. I'm into Raiders plus seven. This is a sweep live sweep here. Um, it, they are going to have a home field advantage in this game. Probably they don't care about the Rams in LA. The Raiders, they care about the Raiders in L.A. I promise you that. Go ask anyone in L.A. They care more about the Raiders than the Rams. Goodness gracious. Um, Yeah, this is the only way to play this game. Plus seven. Now, you're not getting a lot of sevens out there, although there are a couple shops here in town um, that are giving you seven. But you're going to have to dig for it. I think it's a good bet, though. Raiders plus seven, cross the board, live bets by Fez and I. Chris is the originator, so he gets credit when this bet wins. He also takes the blame um, if they lose by 40. All right. 